What's going on? Dylan Conrad, Metabolic AF. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about no motivation. Do this. All right, before I get into that, if you watch on YouTube, please like, subscribe, turn notifications on, Spotify, iTunes, hit that bell button, leave a review. Obviously, Algo helps me help more people like you. Let's go. All right, so when I opened my gym in 2016, um, out here in my personal training studio, I gained 40 pounds, right? It wasn't like over a week, right? It was over some time. But like I came to realize at the fifth month of hopping on the scale and realizing, holy shit, I gained 40 pounds. Like I had known that I was gaining weight, but I didn't know it was like this. And at the time, like I wasn't motivated to exercise. I wasn't motivated to eat healthy. I was actually motivated to the opposite. Like just like, you know, I, it's funny because when I was stressing and emotionally, I'm like, oh, I'm like giving this back to my body at a hard day, but I'm actually punishing my body more by making it even more unhealthy. But in that moment, it felt good, right? It felt like what I needed. Afterwards, I was, you know, negative self-talk, felt like shit, brain fog, puffiness, inflammation, not the wazoo. And, um, you know, at the time, I, maybe you can listen to this, like you can relate to this. I felt like a complete fraud. I was, you know, Tell my clients like, hey, exercise, eat healthy. And here was not exercising and eating like shit. And maybe you have like, especially with kids, like if you have kids and you want them to live a healthy lifestyle, but yet maybe you're here and even maybe not in front of them, but like hiding stuff, like you're drinking more than you should, you're eating more shit foods than you should, and you're kind of like not feeling aligned. That's exactly how I felt. And it's a shitty feeling. You feel like you're you feel like you're just like living in a lie and, and you're like live, yeah, you're completely living a lie. It's, it's, it's a horrible feeling. So if you can relate to that, my heart goes out to you because no one should feel like that. But what I came to realize is that it, for me, it was less of a motivation thing and more of a priorities thing. Let me explain that because motivation isn't linear, right? That's not only throughout the year, it goes up and down, but also throughout the day, right? Your motivation goes up, motivation goes down and a week, right? You might start off on Monday firing, and then motivation goes down, or the opposite. You might <laughs> you might start your week hungover on a Monday, no motivation, and feel motivation Wednesday or Thursday, right? And so what I came to realize is that, for me, it wasn't really motivation, it was just priority. And at the time, my only priority was building my gym, building my business, building my clientele. And looking back on that, and, and if you've been here before, you're, you're just like so focused on your family or you're so focused on building your business or whatever it is, you'll know the feeling of, of like that fight or flight that you, you, you can't do anything else. Your brain can't go anywhere else. It doesn't have enough bandwidth. And that's how you feel. It's a fight or flight reaction. And that's what I had. But I failed to realize that that's bullshit. And if we think about it logically, that makes no sense at all. No sense. Why can't we have two or three or four or five priorities at once? We can. We could totally have that. So my failure to really understand that I can not only prioritize my business, but I could also prioritize my health at the same time, really like that, that, that really dictated all my actions because my mindset was fucked up. It was really, really fucked up. And so if you also think about more logically going to the next layer, if I'm focused on my health, it's only gonna help your, my business, right? If you out there listening, like if you're focused on your health, it's only gonna help you be a better parent, be a better uh, you know, business owner, be a better employee, whatever it is, right? Be a better person to your community. And so your, your mindset is going to dictate your actions, right? So wherever your mind is, right? That's going to dictate the actions that you do or you don't take. Right? And so you gotta think, where you are in your health, if you're not 100% where you're at, you've made decisions that have got you there. Right? And just because maybe you're motivated listening to this, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna make a change. Well, you still have the same mindset that you had before. Because now you're just motivated, which comes in and out throughout the year, but you haven't changed your mindset. You haven't changed your mindset around that. So what I did, five months in after gaining 40 pounds, I hired two coaches. One was my nutrition and fitness coach and one was a mindset coach. And what I learned, I learned a lot from my nutrition coaches. If you listen to this a while, like I always share what I learned, right? But what I learned from my mindset coaches is this. If you're not 100% with where you're at in any area of your life, 
and you know that your mindset dictates your decision making, do not make decisions based on where you are right now unless you want the same outcome, right? So unless you change your mindset and change and, and make decisions a different way, you are going to keep getting the same results, right? Whether that means that you, you, you start a program, you see results, then you fall off again like you've done the millionth time or you just don't start at all and you talk yourself out of it, right? You wanna make decisions based on where you want to be, where you wanna be, not where you're at now, okay? So let's re re reverse engineer that, okay? So let's say, for example, you listening. You wanna lose 40 pounds, right? Okay, so five things you need to implement to change your mindset, okay? So what we need to do to change our mindset is figure out how that person like week to week looks, right? What, what that looks like, someone who's 40 pounds lighter than you and they're still able to have a social life, right? You're still able to excel at your job and have a family, like family life, some semblance of it, or a good one, you know, good relationships with your kids and your spouse and all that stuff, you're probably a pretty structured and calendar, right? If you want to have, if you want to be really good at fitness and nutrition, you know, probably wing it honestly, but I'm guessing that's not you and that you want to be good at your job. You want to be good at your family. You want to be good socially with friends and you know, you have other hobbies and areas of interest in your life. If you want to be well-rounded, you need to get a calendar right? Because you have no idea how much time we waste throughout the day. We have no, no idea, right? And so implement a calendar ASAP for your work, for your social life, for your family life, for your workouts, for your nutrition, everything. So that's the first thing that needs to happen when you're changing your mindset, okay? The second thing to change your mindset is start thinking, okay, so someone who's 40 pounds lighter and actually stays there, not just getting there, probably isn't following a crash diet. So if you're doing some sort of semblance of crash dieting, if you're doing keto, if you're doing intermittent fasting, if you're doing hardcore workouts that you know like, oh my God, it's probably not realistic year after year after year. If you're doing any type of like uh, HCG diet uh, with 500 calories, um, anything like that, just stop it. Just stop because someone who's 40 pounds lighter than you and actually stays there, they don't do crash diets. They have a nutrition and a training system that they use, right? It's not a quick fix. This is what they do, right? And so getting on some sort of flexible nutrition plan, okay, and system while reverse dieting is going to be key. Now, what does reverse dieting do? It builds up your metabolism so you keep that weight off for good. Okay, flexible dieting allows you to have a life, it allows you to have a social life, to still drink alcohol, to travel, to have all these things, right? So doing some sort of crash diet, like keto, and you go out and you have cake, well guess what, you fucking blew it, right? And so now you're back to square one. <laughs> so don't do a crash diet, because someone who's 40 pounds lighter than you wouldn't. And I'm not saying, if you're, if, if it's not just 40 pounds, if you're someone who's listening, you go, ah, I just want to get a little bit leaner, right? and you're crash dieting, like someone who's leaner than you is not crash dieting. Number three, what you need to implement to change your mindset, okay? Someone who's 40 pounds lighter than you has a solid exercise routine that is matched up with their specific physiology, something that works with their specific physiology and not against it. It works with it, right? So if you're a female out there, Right, and you have a menstrual cycle, how can I get this workout routine to line up with my menstrual cycle? Okay, I know I bleed here, I have PMS syndromes here before, I should probably deload there. Okay, the first week I feel like shit when I'm bleeding, but I could probably do a new wor a workout routine. You need to match up what combination of strength training, hit, and cardio is going to be for your specific physiology. I always say the more, the more advanced you can get your training, the more rapid your results are gonna be. Okay. I think I might have done skipped one or said one twice? No, I have it written down here. Okay, number four. Okay, number four that you need to implement change your mindset, okay? Someone who's 40 pounds lighter than you and stays there probably has some systematized accountability, right? With our clients, what we do is what's called habit stacking. 
And so what that allows us to do is focus on what's one habit at a time, right? Have that systematic accountability, check, 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 check that box off. Every day you accomplish that habit, the next week you stack a new habit, right? Check the new one, check the old one, check the new one, check the old one. Stack a new habit, right? And so when we do this, we have systematized accountability. We're building habits second nature. You're gonna have a lot higher success rate, keeping those habits long-term, but also getting them down in the first place, right? Our clients, we have them weigh in daily. Not all of them. If you have a bad relationship with the scale, if you're too focused and it takes you off the actual process, we take you off the scale immediately. But if you have a whatever relationship with the scale, it doesn't really matter, and you know that you're only gonna see changes based on our weekly averages and not day-to-day, -day, you're gonna fluctuate, that would be accountability there too, stepping on the scale, right? So that's number four. Number five is someone who is 40 pounds lighter than you is probably looking to excel in other areas of their life and they value their time or their money. There, I, I talk to clients this all the time, but there are two currencies we pay with. There's time, there's money, and you will pay with what you value less. So if you value your money, right, you're gonna spend time, you're gonna delay decisions, you're gonna spend, you know, you're basically gonna get what you want, but, <laughs> and maybe never actually, because you're putting it off too long, but you're gonna get it in the future, like way longer. People like me and my clients, we want results yesterday. We don't have time to wait for results. We don't have time to just waste. We want results, right? And so we'll pay money to get results quicker. I pay money for meal prep right now to get my results quicker and I can have time back, right? I've paid coaches in the past, both business and in my training nutrition, so I can get results faster because I didn't want to wait any longer, right? And I didn't want that, that other element of me, <laughs> my human behavior, getting in the way of me getting results. So I hired a coach. So if you value your time, hire a coach to get you there faster and ensure that you actually get there in the first place too with that level of accountability, okay? If you want to get better at business, hire a business coach. Right, because that will, that will, you could probably figure out on your own. It's just gonna take a lot longer and you're gonna have to invest a lot more time learning in the front end. And for me, I just wanna do, I just wanna get stuff done. Most of my clients do as well. Anyways, love you guys. Hope this was helpful. If you have noted motivation, I hope this changed your mindset around that because typically it's not the motivation, it's the mindset that needs to change. Motivation will come with it. Love you.